A lovely Wednesday afternoon to each and every one of you out there. It's your favorite program, Flipside, on your dialing station with your sincerely, Oloi J. Uyukokai. Today on Flipside, we'll be looking at the impact on social media, yes, in uh, all ramification, everything we do as far as um, our society is concerned. And um, discussing with me, today happens to be All White Day. Yes, when I mean All White Day, you have a combination of white and black, white and blue. And funny guys, we never planned it. So let's start with um, Evans Usaige. How are you doing? Uh, great. Uh, good afternoon, viewers. Okay, and we have Naomi. Good afternoon, everyone. And sure, Solomon. Good afternoon. And as you can see, we all are putting on um, white. Yeah. And I'm wondering, beautiful yes. Beautiful coincidence. Yeah, beautiful coincidence. <laughs> white signifies purity. Yeah. yeah. Signifies um, lots of good things. All right, so today we're looking at um, social media. First of all, we have um, an IT tech person here. Yes, and I want to ask, what is social media? Okay, uh, social media is... is a platform, a be it web-based or uh, app-based, where you share files, you share information, you share data in general. Okay. You know, so it has it has evolved over time. You know, but the aim of social media, the aim it was designed for, was to be able to share data, files, information. Over time. Okay. Now we know back then we did not hear things like when we were growing up, like social media. Everyone was just up about their, doing their own things. And all of a sudden, we start seeing phones and all of it. Now, I want to start with um, Solomon. Okay. To your own, let's say, your own thinking or to your own thought, when do you feel or think that social media started? Okay. Um, for me, I think um, since the advent of phones, since yeah. we start having phones, time to time, you see um, tech companies producing phones look for easier way to pass communication from mm. one person to another and from one place to mm. another so over time yeah, i think um the the communication world evolved into a smaller space that's why we have social media now you have where you can easily interact with someone or easily get information from someone or a group of people so social media was boiled out um, out of the fact that um, they're trying to make the um communication space a little bit smaller and easier to access Okay, now let's look at um, social media amongst the youth. Looking at, um, talking to Naomi now. Okay. Do you feel social media has actually impacted positively in the lives of youth? Okay. Personally for me, I think it has impacted the lives of the youth around. Um, without social media, I don't think we can communicate with people. Okay. It has really helped us. It's a global village. Everyone gets to reach other people outside your own community, outside your locality, irrespective of um, distance. It has really bridged, it has bridged the gap of distance and then having have to maybe take a transport over to the next village or over to the next city, or maybe you want to send something to your people. You, are, you don't have to go that distance or stress yourself through all those process anymore. So it, I believe it has bridged that gap. So it has really helped. Okay, now Evans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah social media has, has done a lot of good uh, over time where, like she earlier said, where we can easily share files, share conversations. Mm -hmm. You know, I want somebody to do something, somebody in Lagos to do something. I just go online and be like, do this thing for me. Mm -hmm. I don't have to send a letter or send a bird, as it were, you know, I, I, it's, it's something that we should really be grateful for. Okay. Now, we know for a fact that um, we get teenagers assessing social media, getting used to the different social media networks and everything. Now, we find a column where um, there is this restriction and asking, how old are you? Are you 18 years? Are you 10 years? And you find a 10-year-old child who is wiser than his or her age, imputing, let's say, 18 years. How can this networks now identify the fact that this child is way beyond his or her age? Is there a, a solution to that aspect? For me, I, we always advise 
uh, parents or guardians, mm -hmm. you know, whenever you're getting devices for your wards or children, it is, it, is, it is very, very, very advisable okay. when setting up the device, you set it up with a kid account. Okay. Up to the email account that you're going to use to register the device, mm -hmm. you, can, you have to set it up as a kid, as a child email account, such that the restrictions available to other adult accounts, the, the files available on that account cannot be available to the child account, you mm -hmm. know, uh, thereby restricting a lot of things for the child. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's, let's look at um, social media and politics. Okay. Solomon, okay. I know you love politics <laughs> a lot. <laughs> how <laughs> has, uh, okay now, how has social media been able to, you know, take politics from one level to the other? Now, the 2023 election is around the corner. We'll find this party conversing for people to, you know, come all out to vote for them. So, how has social media, you know, helped to influence people's ideas, helped to build up people's, you know, um, encourage people to, you know, go all out to vote for the person they want to vote for? Well, right now, if I um, want to make a direct reference to what we'll be having next year during the election, you yeah. see that there's this, um, there's this push from a um, larger society on mm. social media mm. for who, who and what they want during the 2023 elections. Yeah. You see that people are campaigning, people are posting um, um, pictures, people are advising, go get a PVC, do this, vote for this person, this person is the best candidate. Mm. If social media is not there, imagine the, the, the effort, the energy, the strength, yeah. the, the stress of going to these different places, trying to like let Pass them know that yes, this person yeah. is coming out for president mm. or for uh, mm. uh, for the for governor or for house of rep or whatever position. Mm. But it's easier now. You can even follow through and exactly. see what your candidate is exactly. doing. Yeah. If he's in, exactly. If he's in Abuja today, you know he's in Abuja. There's mm. a video or there's something posted online that about um, his trip to Abuja, what he's doing there. And come to think of it, when they do their presidential debate and other campaign and um, manifestos generally. You, you find it very easy to like sit down when you're more relaxed to like understand and assimilate what they're saying. Mm -hmm. But imagine you are um, gathered among a crowd of like 50,000 people mm -hmm. trying to listen to um, an aspirant talk. You might end up not getting any information yeah. out of yeah. what the person is saying. But imagine you're at the comfort of your house, you're all relaxed, watching the event. You, you tend to like pick the main point out of what the person is saying, if there's a possibility or impossibility. So I think um, social media basically for now is really, really helping when it comes to um, um, politics in the country. Okay, now uh, Evans, can, do you believe that social media can help one change his or her mind concerning a particular candidate? Yes, of course. Uh, it does. It does mm -hmm. because... The larger community, uh, say in Nigeria, they are online. Mm. They want to follow a certain hashtag. They, they want to follow a certain story. Now, if we consider the influencers we have online mm. and how they are influencing people concerning who to vote for mm. and what to do, we will find ourselves saying that these people are, are being swayed by, say, whatever that influencer is, is posting or yeah. whatever it is that he or she may be doing. Okay. Now, there is a saying that too much um, time spent on social media can attract cyber bullying. How true is that? <laughs> so, everybody is basically intimidated online. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. exactly. So, so, how are they being intimidated online? Number one, mm -hmm. you, you want to follow the trend. Yeah. Yeah. You see something Someone. like, okay, can I do it? Can I meet up to this? For instance, now you see uh, people posting um, about um, them um, acquiring a vehicle, exactly. a particular yeah. brand of vehicle. Mm -hmm. Automatically, within yourself, you're you being intimidated. Like, okay, like where am, am I? I? Why, 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 why is this happening to me? You start asking questions. You get. But at the end of the day, it boils down to the fact that there's too many perfection on the social media. Yeah. Every, everything is perfect. Mm. You rarely see people express their so pain. Pains. When you express, I, I, I don't want to make reference to a particular incident, but mm. someone expressed pain, and at the end of the day, everybody was making jest of the person. Exactly. Yeah. You understand? So most things that we see on social media, they're all excitement, happy moments, exactly. joy. 
But, but, but the reason behind it, you know, see people, this cyber bullying that we're talking about now, you see people, some people, they are so scared to like go online because probably maybe they, there's a WhatsApp group in the school and um, once um, they open it up, maybe the person will be the center of discussion. Exactly. Ah, finally you have data to come online. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they, they, they are, they, there's a lot that people do online yeah. that makes other people feel intimidated and don't want to talk. So. Okay. Uh, Naomi, how do you feel we can overcome this cyber bullying? Okay, personally for me, the way I feel the can was um, the way I feel you can overcome the cyberbullying, just be yourself. Whatever it is you are posting on social media, let it be you, let it be your real life. Okay. Let people see whatever it is you are posting online mm. to be the you and not seeing you online and then seeing another you offline. Yeah. So just being yourself is just the key word. Okay. Um, Evans, now talking about peer pressure within like in a normal society in a real life scenario now people putting themselves into the social media aspects now for them they feel okay i want to belong so can peer pressure also make one get um, addictive to social media yes of course it does uh, i always tell people mm. uh, don't follow unnecessary trend. trends mm. don't follow unnecessary people don't follow unnecessary hashtags you know there are things that there are people i have on, around me on my status mm. on my platforms where uh, as basic as food if you see them posting food <laughs> at some point you feel hungry <laughs> if i don't want to feel hungry i have no reason to go and look at that person's profile yeah. just that so just mute there exactly <laughs> i have nothing don't pressure me to to feel hungry <laughs> so it's it's something that applies on other aspects you know I don't 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 follow unnecessary people. Yeah. That's don't follow unnecessary trends, unnecessary hashtags. That's that's what I have to say. Adding okay. to what you said, yeah. um, the social media right now is a very big market place. Yeah. You you get, you have it's, people, it's a word on its own. Exactly. You yeah. have people selling, buying, buying. everything. Mm -hmm. And the good part is it looks perfect. Right. It still looks perfect. <laughs> you you feel okay, this is it. This is how it's going to be, yeah. why, other than why it exactly. goes. At the end of the day, once you start seeing all those things, it's not exactly the same way. You feel it is the way you're seeing yeah. it online. Mm. The same thing boils down to the people's character online. Yeah. The way you see them behave on their social media, you feel, wow, they're perfect people. Oh, let me be friends with this person. And getting to know the person, just like what Naomi said, mm. the, the, the originality cannot be 100% be on social media. Yeah. There will be a level of... Um, like, we like call it lies, but they will talk, it the be, thing. exactly, they will be filtered. So, one way or the other, social media is very big, it's a marketplace, yeah. but not everything seems exactly the way it yes, is yes. online. Okay, okay. So, um, can we say social media is addictive? In all sense, in all sense, mm. it's addictive because it's a smaller space yeah. now. Nobody is ready to like have newspaper in your hand, have buyer in your other hand with papers that you want yeah. to use and send letters out. And you also you are worried about your t you, mm -hmm. all those things. You can have everything in one place, which is our mobile phone, our, 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 our gadgets generally. Mm -hmm. So everybody like that small space. You want to do this, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to do that. I have a phone that can do it. So 50% of everything that we do on a daily is on our phones. Mm -hmm and they are all connected to our social media yeah. so one way or the other it is addictive averagely in the world not just in africa in the world right now it mm. is addictive mm. so how can one you know get out of that shell that's that's um society where you find yourself you find some persons they are out of data for just a minute and it will be like the world is about to come down they're like, oh, please, please, can you help me with 1,000 naira? I, I need to recharge. You, you understand? So how can one come out of, of that world? For me, I, th I think it depends on why you have to be, be, there. A, be addictive mm. to the, the, the media, you know, at, at whatever point. You know, a lot of people use it for their businesses, different things, you know, yeah. different things. Yeah, that's why use. Market exactly. Yeah. You know, so if my business relies, if my business warrants me to be online, mm. I have every reason to look for 1,000 naira to come back online. Okay. You know, a lot of persons use it for, say, irrelevant, irrelevant motives or reasons. Sure. Yeah, but I'm saying, regardless of whatever your reason is, you should you should have this this breaking point, this limit, this yeah. control, such that uh, you should time yourself such that at this particular time, at this particular time, I should not even be on my phone. 
you know, because if I am not with my phone, I am not in that world, Word. you know. So that control, that control that you can probably just spark, no matter how little it is, will probably help you, you know, leave the addiction. Okay. So in our daily lives now, how can social media impact um, positively in our daily life? Let's let's talk to Naomi. Um, and how it can impact in our daily life is, I would say, use it wisely. When it's time to go online, you can go online. Do the things you need to do and just go off. You don't have to stay 247. Like there are some persons who can't do without the phone. Yeah. So for me, I think um, being yourself and just having that break, that limit to be like, this is the breaking point. Like I can't go beyond this point. Yeah. Yeah. So it just that's just it for me. Okay. So just being yourself. Well, well for me, it's possible, and um, at the same time, it's possible to like go away from social media for a while. Yeah. But just like what Evan said, if it's um, affecting your business, like um, positively, like your business is um, surrounded, by what is deeply in social media, yeah. it's, it's something that you have to like check up on time to time. Mm. But when it becomes bad, is when you don't have a reason to be there mm. and you're there. Maybe you're at work and you're pressing your phone or you're trying to go online to see what's mm. trending. Like, mm. it's just like this saying that you're in the wrong place at the right, the right time, time or the right place at the wrong time. Mm. So there are times that, okay, if it's time to work, you leave um, the phone and work. Once you're done, you can go back and check. There are some people, once they just hear their phone beep and they know that there are messages from different social media, yeah. they are all in haste. Like, ah, I just got a message. You don't know what the message is about. Mm. Sometimes you learn to like share your time. You, you know this is a period for social media. This is a period that, okay, yeah, you're free to like do whatever you want to do online. And this is a period to focus on something else. It's so bad that some people will be cooking and they'll be with their phone. They'll be on so And funny enough, yeah. they are checking irrelevant things. Yeah. Fine, there are some times that, okay, maybe people want to learn how to cook some uh, particular delicacies and they have to like check it online. But there are many people that are just there, not checking anything. Just for fun. They will just, and you are cooking. Some even when they are baiting. Yeah. There are times that okay, you know you need to like differentiate that okay, it's about time I just left this thing behind mm -hmm. and do other things. But that addiction still boils down to the fact that people do or go on social media when they are not supposed to. There are other things that we have to do and we need to do in our day to day activities. Okay, now uh, among the different social media platforms we have which of them do you feel is more educative? <laughs> That's a very, very big question. Who, who, who is going to answer that? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, now, they okay, all okay, okay no, no, can I say something? Okay. They are all educative. Okay. They all have their advantage and disadvantage. Yeah. different uses. Yeah. It depends on how you use it. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. It depends now, on how you, you use it. If you find a person saying, um, if you want to get information, go to Twitter. Like me, like yeah. me, I'm a sports person. And most of our um, latest information from different sport groups when mm. they come to like different sporting activities i have who i'm going to follow on twitter mind you there are people that you follow yeah. that will determine what you see the exactly. content yeah. that you exactly. see not just twitter every other place yeah. like even even down to our whatsapp yeah. mm. yes. there are people that you save their number and you definitely see their status mm. yeah but if you know this person cannot impact in you positively exactly. maybe it's by exactly. their work family friends then do yourself a large of good and not save the person's number and stop saying status that exactly. you wouldn't like. Mm. The same thing boils down to other social media. If you know you want to follow this person, that determines the kind of content you get. Okay, now, as an IT consultant, um, some persons out there will be wondering what is social media. Now, fine, you have done um, the definition, but want to know what are the different social media handles we have right now as far as um, um, communication world is concerned? Okay, social media is, in as much as it is this small, it mm. is this big okay. at the same time, you know, it's the reason why I say there are tons of social media, people are creating new platforms every day, yeah. you know, but they are very, there are some of them that are, that are very popular, very popular, you know, yeah. and, and uh, they include our regular WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Twitter, mm. Instagram, you know, people are even using TikTok these days. Mm. And yeah, you know, I was actually going to TikTok. And, and it's, it's really beautiful. Okay. So, um, looking at TikTok right now, uh, what is the advantage of TikTok? Okay. Yeah, I feel, I feel people use TikTok. TikTok was originally designed to, to share videos and meet people. Okay, now, before you go, go further, do you know that um, the owner of TikTok actually said 
He created TikTok for people that are jobless. Wow. <laughs> No. Did you, did you, did you, did you, no, funny <laughs> enough, they have heard it and they're still on that platform. Yes, it's because it's interesting. Yeah. You know, you, you tend to see videos, you yeah. tend to see, uh, mostly, it's even, I think it's about videos. It's yeah. just you videos. You tend to see videos, the more you scroll, the more you see funny videos yeah. after funny videos after mm. nice videos. So, people are stuck to what they see. Not just what they hear, because it's very hard for someone to just sit down. Someone is just talking to yeah. them. But mm -hmm. once you give the person images, videos to see, and it's pleasing to the eyes, they want to stay glued to it. They still want to watch. They still want to like uh, spend more time on it. So it's very hard for you to like pull people out of that kind of scenario. Pe pull people out of that kind of community. So people are stopped to social media um, apps just like uh, TikTok because of the fact that it's fun to watch and it's time consuming also. Yeah, time consuming. Now you find also um, teachers, lecturers you know, um, in the education sector creating a WhatsApp group. Now would you say that that has really impacted positively in our educational system? Well, well, well on a good ground it has. Just like what we started with, it's, it, it makes um, communication very easy. Mm -hmm. Just imagine a lecturer that have about um, uh, 100 students and uh, you want to pass out information that, okay, there will be tests tomorrow morning. At least out of that 100 students, at least 70 of them are going to see that message that, yes, there's going to be a test tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Automatically, you have disseminated the message very, very well and very perfectly. Now imagine that there's no social media, there's no group, there's no platform. Yeah. Now the lecturer will be forced to like write it on the notice board that there will be tests tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you have like not everybody that will get to see it. Not, everyone. not yeah. everyone is going to get the information. Mm -hmm. At least if if let's just say out of the twenty um, students that got the information, before the information moves to the other students, it's already the day for the test. But with social media, quickly everybody knows exactly. what to do. Even if he wants to give out area of concentration, it's very easy. And mm -hmm. they put it on the group, and everybody's going to see it, and everybody will know where to focus on. All right, if you just joined us, this is Flipside, and we're looking at um, everything that has to do with social media, the impact of social media in our society as far as our country, Nigeria, is concerned. We'll be right back after this short break. Don't go nowhere. All right, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you just joined us, this is Flipside, and I'm still in the studio with my guest. We have the person of Evans Usaige, Naomi, and of course, uh, Solomon, I know, with us in the studio. And in case you're wondering, do we live in the same house? We don't. It's something we call um, coincidence, yeah. yes. Sometimes you just get to the office and you find some persons wearing all red, all blue, and that is what happened today, <laughs> one of those days. All right, so um, talk on Facebook now. Some persons feel um, Facebook has really hampered their growth in society. Wow. Mm. Well, yeah. well, well, Facebook, 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 um, in a way, started with the idea of um, uh, people coming together. Coming together, and connection. Mm. Yes, but over the, over the years, definitely, Everybody wants an uh, improvement in yeah. whatever they are doing, especially um, for the owner of Facebook. He wanted um, an expansion, uh, a bigger space where mm. people can not just um, communicating with one another, but also spending time trying to like uh, watch things or watch videos that will be of excitement, not just um, seeing pictures. So, mm. I think for now, the only the only issue uh, most people are having with uh, some of the social media is the genuity of. The information that's been passed yes yes because it's very painful when you, you you spend your time to go through a particular information and at the end of the day you discover that that information is false it's it, um, it it creates this level of distrust on that particular social media so i think apart from that i think um facebook and other social media they are, they are doing very well so far okay now um as um for evans is there a way or do you feel that the the social media handles, they are doing great, or is there something you feel they should um, uh, imbibe or add to what they are being ushering or what they are being given out to the general populace? Yeah, you see, you see I think during the COVID-19 period, yeah. uh, too many news, too many, too many information were flying, flying around, around you know, yeah. and people were passing false information to other people, you mm. know. 
there was, there, was, there was a feature that Facebook incorporated into their platform whereby you do a verification check on a particular the news. Item. You know, and it was really amazing mm. where you see a particular story and you can go and check if that story is fake news. Yeah. Right? And yeah. when people saw that feature on Facebook and other platforms, it, they, were, they were really happy. Mm. They had reasons to fall back and know what story to verify and what story to take to their hearts, mm. right? And other platforms are doing amazingly well, you know, and where you can, where you can bring your businesses, uh, showcase your products. You see, for me, I feel, like, I feel like these people, they've, they've given more than enough mm. for us to sustain ourselves. Mm. Okay. Now, for the um, content providers, um, what do they call them, the skit makers, yeah. They have come all out to say, um, I remember when um, Twitter, yes, was placed on ban. Yeah. Now you found them um, coming out to say, hey, this is where we make our business. This is where we showcase our talent. Yeah. Now, um, what are the advantages these things have brought to bear? Outside showcasing talent, and you've got to see, um, as far as comedy, skits, and all, all of that, People coming out to showcase their talent. Apart from that, what other things do you think um, the social media handles can bring to bear? Well, well, I, I just want to bring out one quickly. You mm -hmm. know, killing of boredom. Mm -hmm. It looks very small and yeah. looks very um, irrelevant, but in a way, it's very important. You know, when you when you get back home from work and um, you you are relaxing and um, probably you don't want to talk to many people. Mm. You go to these social medias. You see people's um, pictures, people's videos. It kills boredom. It makes you have the sense of okay, this is what I'm doing right now. Mm. Though it might be relevant at a particular moment, but it gives you this um, idea that okay, I'm having fun or uh, I, I, I'm trying to like know what I'm trying to keep myself abreast with what's happening in the world at that particular moment. Yeah. So I'll say apart from um, uh, showcasing business. Um, um, and also uh, showing talent online, I think it kills boredom in a way. In a way, I'm not. Yeah, right. I'm not very, but everybody has different opinion yeah. when it comes to that. But I still feel social media kills boredom. Okay, sure. and for now, while you were in school, um, what are the things that um, social media actually did to enhance your studies? Okay, I could go online to easily check so many things. I still do it up to now. Mm. There are some words I hear or some things. Like the first time I ever heard the word efficacy, it was true Google. Mm. I had to go check it out. I just resumed 100 level, and then one of my lecturers was like, what is the efficacy of? And I'm oh, like, that, that was what a is the efficacy of? <laughs> so I had to quickly check Google, <laughs> and then I got the meaning. So it has really done more help. It was really helpful to me. Mm. And at the same time, I felt bad at a point it was true that social media actually got to know that my dad passed on. <laughs> oh, you don't mean it. Wow. Yeah. So I saw sorry. a cousin of mine posted it on, online. And I just saw it. I'm like, this is my father's name. Mm. And then I caught someone. They were like, no, it's not your dad. It's the brother. Oh. I, I went back to social media. I'm like, ah, this is my father's name now. So I had to call my mom. She wasn't picking. I called my eldest sister. She wasn't picking. So I knew something so was already... there was no picture to... There was no picture. Okay. So I knew something was already wrong. Mm. So in a way, it's helpful. It could help you solve some problem at that particular time. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it can be phone killing also. Mm -hmm. So that's just it. Okay, so Solomon, it can be phone killing. <laughs> yeah, it can because be phone killing. Because, because there are some things you see that yeah. will get you angry. Yeah, yeah just true. Like what yes, said, true. Just like what she said. She mm. wasn't expecting that kind of information. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing just hit her, not mm. from home, mm. telling her that this was happening right now. But outside. Got to outside. Yeah. But that's the good part. Imagine there was no social media. Exactly. She might not. She might not even know what's happening in the next two weeks. Exactly. You get. Imagine there's no internet. There's mm -hmm. no phone. There's mm -hmm. no social. Media. You might not get to know things that are happening in the world. Just like um, I think um, last week or two weeks ago, there was this um post um that people just had this um caption on their on their WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. So maybe we're asking yeah, that. Jesus, so Jesus. Is yeah. Is yeah. wrong in yeah. the world? Or, uh, yeah. You get. The world so that's how quick the information passed. Because I, I remember that particular day, I was sitting there and I just noticed the two people on my status. Yeah. The next thing, almost everybody on my status have the same picture. I what wonder what's on? happening. Immediately, <laughs> I asked, what's going on, what's going on? Those people, they, yeah. they, they, immediately I'm asking, those people are telling me also that. They, they don't even it. know. They are saying that they want to be trending. Exactly, everybody is just following the trend. trend. But it was fun at the end of the day. But the truth. Made fun of <laughs> <laughs> the truth there is we get to 
get to receive information very, very fast. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. just the advantage. Okay. So in a nutshell, you're, you're trying to tell everyone out there that they should try and be uh, with the, the, the trending things. Now, you, you find someone who hasn't subbed for a while, all of a sudden just subs and you find trending stories, messages here and there. And you even find some persons, it's not them to call you directly on their phone. They That's will be like message. sending you a message on WhatsApp yeah. and, like, and, and like you yeah. ought to be you, you ought to be oh, online. Yeah. Like is it's 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 a normal thing. Exactly. It's in it's in fact it's something that everyone should always do. Now, like, you know? And I'm wondering why should I always be online? Right. Because you want to send me a message. Don't I have don't we have the normal phone the you just do you know, just call, for that message? You know? The reason is, is for, uh, for instance, there was something that happened this morning. Mm. I think um, it caused a little bit of <laughs> But at the end of the day, yeah. I was of the opinion that, okay, if you had sent me a message earlier, I would okay. have remembered. Now, when you say but, a message on WhatsApp or the normal conventional... No, not the normal conventional text message, on yeah. WhatsApp, because... Mm. Every single person, not every single person, don't yeah. let me be very sure. Okay. Most Nigerians, yeah. most people, once you wake once up, you wake in the up morning, straight to WhatsApp. Seriously? Yes. yes. Wow. Yes, I do. It's because you feel. Evans, is that true? I do. <laughs> <laughs> because if you don't check, if once you own your phone, mm, you yeah. see the time. <laughs> Automatically, you see messages on that. <laughs> once you see that you have two, two, two three, four messages, you'll be worried that ah, what's going on. Mm. Immediately, sometimes most people even, there's, there's a saying that. Most people will just check their food. They will even check whether their legs are still <laughs> You don't even try to put your legs on the ground. You're already checking your phone. But the point is, there are information that you feel mm. are already on your WhatsApp that you need to keep yourself abreast with. So immediately, you go to your WhatsApp, go to your social media to check what's going on. Mm. For instance, imagine that, okay, maybe maybe when you're sleeping, rain fell, flood happened, and you don't know. And immediately you just go online, yeah. you don't see that there's flood everywhere. On, on your, your streets. Street. <laughs> you, 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 you have to like come back to life, like what's Seriously? going on? Like, I didn't know Where all this but imagine that you don't know. You are all dressed, all prepared for work and you step outside, everywhere is flooded. Then okay. where do you want to start from? So you're sure. trying to advise everyone out there that they should always make sure they have internet on their phone. Exactly. Yes. yes. It's exactly. advisable. Wow, well, it's, it's a big yes. 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 Okay, so for someone like me, I need to, you know, walk <laughs> up to the yes. Okay, now let's um, do a comparison now. Um, um, from the time where there was no social media, well, there was no internet. There's the word back then and the word now. Well, 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 mm -hmm. let me quickly say this. Um, I, I, I'm lucky or I, I'm, I'm very glad I'm, I was part of both sides. Mm -hmm. I'm still part of um, yeah. the new world. And um, doing a quick comparison, you see that the seriousness attached to information then mm -hmm. is different from now. Yeah. Though they, they, we had fake news then, but now is more because they believe it's easier to pass information. Okay. Yeah. Now imagine you have to write a letter to someone. Will you mm -hmm. stress yourself to write something that is not true in the letter? Because you know it's going to be expensive to send yeah. the letter and it's going to yeah. take time. Yeah. So you are, already, you are only going, you are hitting the point directly. For instance, now maybe someone wants to ask you for money or, or someone wants to learn money from you or, in any, or someone wants to inform you about um, something that is going on. Yeah. And the person has just a means to like inform you, maybe by writing a letter. Will the person be beating around the bush or telling you that something is wrong, something? No, the person goes straight to the point. But right now, since we have a very big space, you have yeah. time, you have data, you have everything, you have the mobile phone, you first go beat around the bush, pass fake news, say things that are not true, before you get to the main information. So it's time consuming saying the truth now. Let me just put it that mm -hmm. way. But at the end of the day, when you look at it critically, information then, it was very hard to pass, but you have more of um, originality exactly. when it comes to those information. Okay, now, um, Naomi, before you also answer this question, we find things that we used to, in court, not know about, things that used to not go viral. Like, let's take, for instance, something happening in Sokoto or in Jers. We never knew about it. But social media has made the word um, like you are in Sokoto, yes. you are in Jers, yes. just because of what we call social media and the internet in co combination. Now, um, will you say that back then, people used to not be um, scared of leaving their houses than what's happening right now? Because you're finding, oh, there is um, an issue in Lagos. 
Okay, there's chaos in Lagos. Everyone is fighting. Just for instance, the one that recently happened at um, New Benin Market. Yeah. You're finding already people posting and you're seeing the information. So you that you ought to go to New Benin, you have you already having a rethink and saying, no, I don't want to go to that axis because there is danger already. Yeah. So are we saying that it's a positive welcome as far as social media is concerned? than back in those days when you don't even know things like that is actually happening and you walk into it and you're like, ah, oh, sorry, there's a fight here. Mm. It's a positive welcome to mm. me because it informs you of the danger ahead. Yeah. yeah. So it's a positive welcome. It informs you of the danger ahead. It makes you prepared for what you are going to see. Mm. And it, gives, it also informs you, like, be safe here instead of going there to endanger your life and all those stuff. So, it's really the welcoming idea. It's positive for me. Just be safe is the word. Mm. Now, wrapping safety around this um, particular it's question, it, it, it's actually very good. But um, it still boils down to the fact that most of um, the information mm. is um, aggravated. Yeah. Not exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, exactly. it's blown up. Exactly. You, mm. you, you yourself, you will now be like, okay, is this really... What's going, going on, on there? Out of fear, out yeah. of um, 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 uncertainty, you might not embark on whatever you want to want to. But yeah. that sense of security that, oh, Something the place I'm going to, yeah. I already know what is happening exactly. there. Mm. It's, it's comforting. In a way, you know that, yes, you are not heading into a, a, a territory or a zone that is not safe. Mm. But back in the days, there's this sense of, mm, I, know, I don't know what's going on there. Let me just go there yeah. because they, they won't you won't be punished you, you, you won't have visuals yes. of what's going on there mm, and then true. believe in more of someone said exactly. someone yes, said. Yes. now the difference with these days now is not just someone said you are seeing you're it, seeing you it. are seeing mm. it like mm. first hand you you will not be like ah this is close to my house so i can't really. because i remember back then in kaduna i think 2000 year 2000 there was something that happened um i think there was a riot in the and in the city and um i was at home i was very small then and my mom came from work and she was like oh, something is happening in town and funny enough they've already got into the area where we all stay but the fact that there's no social media is like ah, so someone closed the door yeah. do this do this do this people are coming i don't mm. know what's going on it was mm. when she came inside closed the door closed the, i don't know what's going on i can't you see what's going on outside mm. <laughs> so that's the difference but nowadays now even wow. before the person leave wherever the person is yeah. now. Yeah, so we do this, now we do this, oh, this thing is happening now. Yeah. Where people, you get, so that's the advantage of social media. That is the good that has done so far okay. when it comes to passing up information in mm. case of security. Evans? Yeah, you see, like he was saying, you have to either wait for somebody to return from the point of, of where, whatever it's, where it's happening, or you have to wait 24 hours to see it in the next publication, yeah. or somebody has to do something. It's, it's a very rigorous process in general. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we can't afford to, to endanger our lives anymore. You know, internet is here, solution is here. Mm -hmm. You know, let's just embrace it. Let's okay. even bring it down to COVID-19. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. If not for social media, yeah. we won't have even, most people won't even know how we got to Nigeria. Yeah. You know, that's when information was saying there was one man that came in from South Africa, different information. But at least we, we, we had the information at hand exactly. that, okay, yeah. yes, there might be a threat coming to the country. Mm due to this uh, pandemic. Yeah. But was there in the country when it came? I think that was... Oh, I mean, that was that it helped us, it helped us it. manage it. We were able to curb it. We were able to know that, okay... This is where it form. has gone exactly. to. Exactly. Close your borders. Yeah. Don't do this. If it's do this. Africa, that you know, like, think of it on their own. It mm. wouldn't have been... Exactly. Like, they're, they're, most people will even relate it to maybe spiritual or maybe something as entirely. And it will have been worse because they won't be able to control it. Yeah. There, there was a time that we constantly have figures of um, uh, yeah. people affected with COVID-19. Yeah. So that one helped a lot because if you are waiting to like go to the website of NDD, uh, um, the, NCDC. The NCDC to like check what's going on, the statistic of people that have and people that have been cured, yeah. you wouldn't know. But on your Facebook, on your WhatsApp, on Instagram, yes, you can get out those information easily. But imagine we don't have social media. How stressful is going to be? <laughs> Okay, um, talking about suicide and social media. Okay. Cool. Now, you, you, I, I can see you're yeah. already sighing about that. Now, um, some persons be like, I have been on social media and I've seen some certain things happening. Okay, I don't get encouragement. I don't get people posting things that 
gives me joy. And I don't see this water as something fitting or befitting to live in. Now, how can we, you know, marry social media and suicide? I feel, I feel, uh, I started by saying it all depends on who you follow, what trend you're going with and all mm -hmm. of that, you know, but uh, you can never run away from information at the level it is right now. Mm. You know, even if you don't want to hear it, you will still hear it at the level it is. Yeah. You know, but one, one thing I feel humans can do, we can do, is, is um, avoid what we call social media oppression. Mm. Because when you see a particular thing online and you forget that it's not 100% uh, beautiful or 100% perfect, uh, you get intimidated. You get oppressed by whatever you're seeing online. Mm -hmm. And so at some point, you want to probably replicate it or you want it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And in the process of trying to achieve whatever it is you saw online, mm -hmm. you, may, you may go too extreme. extreme yeah. And you know, when you don't get what you're looking for, you become depressed. You become mm -hmm. suicidal. Mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to do things. You don't know how they did it, but you just want to do things. Mm -hmm. And that's why people are, you know, probably killing themselves. I don't know. Okay. Now, Solomon, how can parents help to, you know, check what their younger ones, their teenage children, are assessing on the internet? Um, to know, uh, to know the range of which their their children have gone so far to the extent of they wanting to evolve in a societal case. Okay. okay. Um, let me come in from the area of psychology. Well, there's um, a particular age, particular age bracket, I think from age 18 down to age 35. The main goal for that age and the main problem is identity versus role confusion. Mm -hmm. you, can, you try to identify who you are and the main problem is role confusion. They don't know who they are. If you can identify yourself with the help of people you follow, People you see their content, people you see what they do, you can use to build yourself, know which path you want to go. Take for instance, and let's say a young boy of um, 18 years old, um, 18 is even way older, let's say of 15 years old that you, you, you want to be a very good footballer at the end of the day. And the people you are following on your social media, we are talking of maybe you are following um, hip hop artists on your social media. It doesn't go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you follow fellow footballers, follow football clubs that you see their content time to time, it brush up what you want to become. Yeah. You get. So, raw confusion comes in when at the end of the day, this is what you want to become, but yeah. you are not getting close to what you sure. want to become. Okay. It becomes a problem in your own head. You start mm. thinking, like, okay, what am I getting wrong? What am I doing wrong? Yes, people you are following, content you are seeing on social media, they are the one that's the problem. Right? They are influencing your character, mm. influencing your skills, influencing your level of development, yeah. influencing you psychologically. But most people ignore that part. So if people can actually understand the fact that if you, just like what Imo said, mm. it depends on the content you follow. If it boils down to what you really want to become, if it boils down to things that you know you need in your life, it will really, really help. Okay. All right. Now, me now. I think we should um, you know, narrow the discussion to the advantage and disadvantage of um, social media in order for persons out there to know the line they should toe as far as social media is concerned. Yeah. Yes, it's true. Uh, skit makers, exactly. content creators, um, people that have their businesses in, the, in um, you know, uh, social media, they are doing great. They are having contacts here and there. But in as much as we know that, yes, there are advantages. Now, what are the disadvantages on social media? The disadvantages of social media is that, like Solomon said, it's not all that is original. Yeah. Mm. So you don't just see online and just believe. In as much as you are seeing something on Facebook, there's a way I see something on Facebook and I go back to ask Google, is this really happening? Yeah. Or is this really it? Then you check one or two to balance it to mm. see how original or how or our, um, real, authentic. authentic the stuff is. Mm. So to me, not everything you see on social media is real. Okay. All right. Some Everyone's are fake. Okay. Yeah. I would always advise people, uh, there's, there's this beautiful feature online mm -hmm. on most of the platforms where they call the verif verification check. You know, most handles you see online, they have this, this check sign, this blue ticker. I tell people, follow handles that have those verification checks okay. because 
if my, my, my handle has a verification check, I would not publish a fake news to mm. tarnish my image. Mm. There are replications of handles, say a particular company that publishes news. There's somebody replicating that handle to publish fake news. Mm. Don't follow fake handles. Okay. Always look out for the blue ticker for concrete and, and correct information. Okay. Now for a um, celebrity now, let's use um, who, who should we use now as an example? There are lots of celebrities. Do you know, if um, the person is living a fake life because you find them coming to social media, flaunting all the wealth, their dress, their lifestyle and all. And back then in their house, you find uh, this is not true. How can one know? The thing is, the thing is, uh, you can never know. You can never completely know mm. what is going on because uh, as a celebrity, they are entitled to a lot of things, mm. uh, including the show off, mm. per se. Mm. And, <laughs> and if, if they, if you think or if somebody thinks uh, they are showing something that they probably don't have or yeah. they may not possess, I feel it may probably be for publicity. Mm. They, I feel at some point there's a reason for every action every. a celebrity is, is making okay. online. Okay. So I, I, okay. I don't see them as. All right, Solomon, quickly now, your advice to younger ones out there, to the youth, to the society. Well, for me, to the society and especially the younger generation, yeah. they should be very happy and know that they are very lucky to be in a generation whereby they have a means to pass communication mm. easily. Mm. They have social media as a tool. Yeah. But like social media is just like a gun. If you have it in the wrong hands, it's mm. going to do the wrong exactly. thing. Mm. If you have it in the right hand, you're going to do the right thing. Mm. So every young person in the world, every young person in the country should understand that social media should be used for the right thing. Get relevant information, follow the right people, follow the right trend, and make sure that you help, you use it in developing yourself. You need to help yourself, not to use it to harm yourself. Okay, now Naomi. Okay. Um, just do the right thing with social media. Get the right content. Even whatever it is you are getting on social media, try to save it. For the younger generation, do you have older ones around you? Whatever it is you get on social media, still try to verify it to say it can be useful to you. Whatever you get, just save it. Take the good ones and then throw the shaft away. OK, now, um, Evans, your, qu your question is different okay. as an IT consultant. How can one you know, get educationally inclined as far as um, social media is concerned? OK. Uh, Advising the younger ones. Uh, yeah. Other than just going there to view celebs doing this and that, what else can one get? There, there are several platforms. I started by saying social media has is, is both web based and, and app based. Yeah. You know, there are platforms, there are studying platforms where you can go online, mm. study, get certificates. Yeah. And you can probably just work anywhere with your certificates. It, it is recognized worldwide. Mm. You know, these things are there. People are not just searching. You know, so I would always advise people use Google wisely use google it has every information Everything. you want just yeah. search search correctly and okay. you get it okay yes like evans has said search and search solomon said and um, naomi hey have your internet running 24 7 get abreast with everything happening in the country and of course the world at large so i'll be seeing you again next week for another exciting time on the flip side do you have yourself a blessed day bye for now